The state is running out of tuberculosis tests. Hawaii has the second highest yearly rate of the disease. It is now getting hit by the nationwide shortage. KITV4's Nana Okawa finds out why. You'll have to search hard to get a tuberculosis test in Hawaii. The Hawaii State Department of Health says manufacturers are not sending enough TB test solutions to keep up with the demand. Now, instead of testing 1,000 people per week, the department will only be able to treat 200. What that means for most people, particularly for students and for people who are food handlers, that uh, their requirements for skin testing are temporarily suspended. So those who normally are required to have the test will be allowed to go to school or work without it. The DOH says tuberculosis has been a long-time problem in the state. That's because we sit in uh, a community uh, with, with lots of uh, immigrants, folks from uh, Asia in particular. The TB test is crucial to help protect people by actively screening potential carriers for the disease. It's not like the flu where that person will get sick right away. They may carry the bug inside their lungs for many, many years and then uh, eventually might get uh, tuberculosis. The DOH insists this suspension will not have a negative impact on public health. TB tests will still be on reserve for certain cases. Although we are curtailing some of our uh, skin testing for the lower risk groups, we're still going to maintain testing for the high risk group. And those already being treated and evaluated for TB will not be affected from this suspension. The DOH says some symptoms of TB include a cough, sometimes with blood, that lasts at least three weeks, night sweats, fevers, and unintentional weight loss. The TB suspension and test shortage may last 120 days. Kenny, back to you.